right, guys. So, what comes to mind when you think of the word massage? Perhaps some of you think of the word relaxation, okay? uh, maybe even intimacy. So, being a female massage therapist myself, I'm all too familiar with quips such as, ooh, you massage therapy, huh? Do you a little extra to get a bigger tip? Or some people are like, oh, I don't really need it. You know, I, I haven't gotten injured or hurt yet. But the most common one, I really don't have time for one. I'm so busy. So that right there, I don't have time. It's a huge reflection of a problem that we have, an actual sickness that we all share. And it's very common amongst the regular hardworking American, which is almost all of you. So in America, we are told to go to school, get a job, have a career, raise a family. But when are you actually told to stop and take care of yourself? So we are working more and we are stressing more. The American Psychological Association conducted a survey, and they conducted the survey, they've been conducting the survey for over a decade now, examining the relationship between Americans and stress. And over the 10 years, the most common top stressor has been work, which is not surprising, right? The Bureau of Labor Statistics released last year um, reported that Americans work, or on average, 11 million Americans work more than 59 hours a week. It's 11 million Americans, 59 hours a week. And let that sink in. We're working more, we're stressing more. And what exactly is the problem with this? We are taught to grind, hustle, you know, just keep, keep, keep going. Contribute to the constant input and output of production in society. But at what point does society say, hey, like stop, just pause, take care of yourself? At what point did anyone tell you that? And the simple thing is, no, like that, no one did. We are stuck in this repetitive, the, the, this rat race, this exhausting cycle where there's no room for recovery. And we're actually deteriorating a lot faster because of it, because of the stress. And now, obviously, you're like, hey, like, I can't just stop working. I, I, I can't just stop going to school. So what can I actually do about it? Well, one thing you can actually do is actually get a massage. <laughs> get a damn massage. <laughs> like, it, it's a lot more simpler than you think it is. Because massage is not a luxury. It's something that's needed. It's, it's something that's part of the healing process that we're not taught to, to do. To, we're not taught to implement into our lives. Massage has clinically been shown to help reduce pain, reduce fatigue, anxiety, and depression. It even helps you sleep a little longer. And the coolest thing is, see, the human touch, it's an amazing thing. It's an amazing thing, but it's also a necessary thing. There was a study that came out examining touch therapy on premature newborns. So with touch therapy, over a span of about 10 days or so, the premature newborns who received this therapy were shown to gain 47% more weight than premature babies who received standard medical care. Studies have also shown that touch therapy has helped Alzheimer's patients connect more with others, relax a lot better, and reduce their depression as well. 
Now, obviously, I don't know how many of you are massage therapists in the audience, but there is actually something that you can do on your own, and it's very quick. So first, I want everyone to take a deep breath in, and you know, slow, and out. And everyone, take your hands, hold your fingers, run them over your eyebrows, and just slowly drag them across towards your temples while you're breathing. And you can do this to yourself or a loved one anytime when you're feeling stressed, you know, when your mom or a loved one is yelling at you, <laughs> when, when finals are coming up, when that tax return wasn't as big as you hoped it would be. <laughs> Michelangelo said that to touch, you can give life. But how many of you are actually living now? How many of you are actually putting aside time to take care of yourselves? Not many. The thing with all this stress it's killing you a lot faster than you realize. Raising blood pressure, causing insulin spikes, so more fat around the organs, you gain weight, increasing anxiety. How long are you going to let yourself deteriorate before your time runs out? We all have an expiration date, right? But you want to take care of yourself as much as possible. You are more important the money you make, than the money you make and then the things you buy. So what I want to leave you guys with is remember to pause so that you can heal. <laughs>